We are continuing our series of celebrating the accomplishments of many of the high school students from the class of 2020 here in St. Clair County. Today, connecting through Zoom, we have the privilege of meeting Shelby Woods, who's one of the top 10 academic students from Algonac St. Junior Senior High School. And first of all, Shelby, congratulations and what an honor. Thank you very much. I'm glad I get to be here today and have this opportunity to talk to you, Mr. Harrington. Great. How much of a challenge was it for you to reach this goal in your high school career? I would say it was somewhat challenging in order to be a top 10 student. I know my first few years of high school, they came a little bit easy to me, but once I got to my junior and senior year of high school, I was part of the International Baccalaureate Program that, or the IB program through Algonac High School. And that kind of added a little bit more rigor to my coursework throughout school. But I, I really had to learn time, manage, time management skills and I really had to learn how to work my schedule where I could do all my schoolwork because I had a lot more than I had previously and how I could do that with my extracurricular activities. And so through time management and the help of my teachers, I was able to kind of get it where I was able to achieve this goal. Great. Uh, what are, what are you, now that you've reached that goal, what are your plans for college and what are your future goals uh, for a career? So actually, I'm going to be going to Central Michigan University on the Centralis Gold Scholarship next semester, which means that I will have full tuition for the next four years of college, as well as admittance into their honors program for the next four years, which is a super cool thing. I got to compete for that last fall. And then I'm going there for elementary education, specifically in language arts with a minor in integrated science. And that's pretty exciting because Central Michigan is a good school for education. Yeah, it is. I can vouch for that. I'm a fire up chip too. So, but uh, oh, good awesome. for you. And, and the honors Thank program, you. it means uh, that that workload is going to be continuing then, doesn't it? Oh, definitely. The IV program definitely prepared me for that. As uh, one of the academic leaders from your class, what, what advice do you have for your classmates and also for those underclassmen who are coming up? So, Advice for my classmates, I would probably say to continue the hard work that we've been putting in and the time management, because I feel like from here on out, it's only going to get harder to manage our time and the work we're going to have to do is going to get harder, obviously. And then for underclassmen, I would probably say my biggest piece of advice would be when you get your schoolwork to not procrastinate. Once again, time management, put that hard work in and get your work done as soon as you get it. Because I know from personal experience and seeing my classmates with the same experience, when we put our work off, to the day before it's due. We normally have a huge pile of work and it's just so much more stressful that way. Just do your work when you get it done. Well, congratulations again for all of you've accomplished at Algonac Junior Senior High School, Shelby. Thank you, Mr. Harrington. Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.